mean, all of us have had, you know, one of these, okay? All of us have had one of these. Now, at the time, centuries ago, centuries and centuries and centuries ago, it was a sundial, okay? You have to be, it has to be set up in a certain part of the field, it has to be like the shadows are the right way, you can tell what time it is. Then technology came in, and the technology at the time were gears, gears and screws and pegs. That's what gave us the watch. Now, just to give you an idea of how this all falls into place is, now technology has revolutionized into our cell phones. And because of the creation of the cell phone and the features of the cell phone, not even necessarily for us to call people, but because when you're checking what time is it, what time it is, what's the first thing you grab now? You grab your cell phone. And because of the the development of the cell phone, this industry got hit hard. Got hit really hard. And and that's not even the primary use of this product. So just to give you an idea how technology is impacting, how, in, how it's impacting us every day. I mean, this uh, cell phone and the technology that's coming in the next couple of years will replace that video camera. So that, that industry is gonna get impacted significantly. In fact, it already has been with all the little camera phones that are YouTube friendly now and all that kind of stuff. So. I just think that's phenomenal, and, I, and there's no, I mean, people are watching TV on their cell phones too. So, to backpedal a little bit, we talk about the cell phone. Now, when we're talking, when I'm talking with people about this chip, they're like, there's no way that that could possibly happen. There's no way that a little hologram on the sticker would be able to do that. Now, the way that I respond to that is, imagine back in 1985, Someone told you that you can get on a telephone, it doesn't have to be plugged into a wall. And mind you, back in 1985, not many of us had the ones that had the buttons on it. And when the ones with the buttons came out, it was, ooh, they have buttons now. Okay? But we're talking about the dial kind of that you didn't have to be plugged into a wall and you can call somebody from anywhere you are. Pretty much. And not only that, you can call somebody from any anywhere in the world, and call anybody anywhere in the world. Now, if someone told me that I would have a device like that, that could fit in my front pocket, someone told me that in 1985, I'd be like, you're crazy. No way. Because at the time, back in the late 70s, we were watching Star Trek, and they have the little, what is it? The telephone, yeah, yeah, tel yeah, you know. The communicator. The little communicator. Yeah. Star Trek was telling us something, you know. <laughs> so, so. That's what I find pretty interesting. So I, I just I don't know where technology is going to take us. I'm checking my email right now as we speak. But I mean, it's just it's just amazing how we can communicate with people instantaneously from anywhere. So for someone to tell me, and for someone not to be forward thinking enough to be able to say, well, then that's not there's no way that's going to work. You know, I'm not here to convince you. All I'm here to tell you is that I have a product. I've sampled it out to so many people, and. I get different responses. Now, I get some responses from people where I notice something, yeah, you know, that's cool. Then I get some people that I sample the pain chip to that have been dealing with fibromyalgia, that have been dealing with chronic back pain. Um, and, and, and the sleep chip, I couldn't tell you how many friends of mine from high school that I had no idea, and she's sitting right there, I had no idea had sleep issues that were taking Ambien. Tylenol PM, you know, and just popping those pills into their body, popping those chemicals, um, you know, depressants basically, to bring your body down in order for you to be able to fall asleep or be able to fall asleep more effectively. Now, we have something that has a very strong emotional attachment to it because having energy is great. Having extra energy is great. You know, who couldn't use a little extra energy throughout the day? But when you think about it, I think the most powerful chips that we have, I don't have the sleep pack one, but you have the sleep pack one? But the chronic pain chip, when you can go up to somebody and say, hey, I got something I want you to try, they've been dealing with carpal tunnel syndrome. They've been dealing with lower back pain. And I mean, I've 
dealt with lower back pain in the past, and it's debilitating. I mean, and then you put the chip on. Just the other, just the other day, I was at my favorite coffee shop, and there was a guy sitting in the couch, and he just couldn't get out of the chair. I was like, and that's when the light bulb turned. I said, okay, I got to chip this guy up. I got to put a chip on this guy. And I asked him, I said, are you okay? It's like, I have back surgery. It's hard for me to get up. I was like, how long have you been dealing with that? About four years now. So tell me about the pain. He's sitting here thinking I'm a doctor or something. So he tells me about the pain. He shows me the scars from the incisions. And I can see it. When he gets out of the chair, he is in agony. In agony. And this just happened like, I think about a week ago. I said, let me try something on you. I want to show you something. I pulled out the pain chip. I took two pain chips because I wanted to make sure it worked. And I saw where the incision was. I put one right. I put one right here, and I put the other one right there. The incision was right there. So I put one on each side, surrounding the incision, about four inches away from each other. So I just said, just put that there. Just make sure that you're hydrated. I saw he was drinking coffee, so I was a little worried, but. But I just said, just leave it on and you'll notice something within, I don't know, some people, it takes a couple of days, some people it takes a couple of hours. He interrupts me and he's sitting in his chair and he's like, sitting in the couch, standing up, he's like, I can tell, I can tell. I was like, really? He's like, I can tell. So he says, you got to tell me where I can get this. And I gave him my card, I said, here's the website. I mean, he gave me his business card, and he's he works for a computer company that ups, upgrades people from Windows <laughs> Vista to Windows 7. He does all those OS things. So I said, I mean, our company's looking for distributors. This company officially launched about a month and two days ago. Well, I didn't tell him that. Is that was, you know, our, our, our company had launched about a month ago is what I told him. He said, wow. So he goes and signs up. And then he calls me up because he has my card and said, hey, I signed up. So that's how easy it is. I didn't go through a whole sales spiel. It's because of the power of the product and what it does how, and how fast it does it. Now, when you're able to help somebody like that, you got a product that has a huge emotional attachment. Now, that guy is probably not going to want to live without this. He's probably not going to want to go back to ibuprofen or Vicodin. He told me he was on Vicodin, too. Um, and all the drawbacks that, and, and, and side effects that you get from a lot of those painkillers. You know, I mean, you're, you're an RN, you're a nurse, so you see people come in that have problems and they take medication and it might solve their problem, but they don't have an addiction. Yeah, they got an addiction to a product and it might have caused a different product. So it's almost like I got a migraine headache, so I'm going to take all this ibuprofen. I'm going to take it and I'm going to take it, ingest it, and I go through my body. My headache's gone, but now my stomach hurts. So you think about that. So that's the sleep chip. Um, the sleep chip, I think that's pretty amazing. That's the chip that I like the most. Uh, the reason I, I don't have a lot of sleep issues, but what I do notice is that when I go to sleep and I don't use the sleep chip and I have to get up early, it's like dragging a piano. But when I do use the sleep chip, I get up a couple minutes before my alarm clock goes off. <laughs> And I feel good. I feel good. I don't feel all like, okay, I gotta get a. Da, da, da. So, those are the uh, three products that we have. And we just released two new products the EMF chip and the CX2 chip.